What's up everyone, and today I'm bringing to you a deck profile on my Digital Bugs. Now, Digital Bugs is actually a very interesting deck that uh, you would think is a very bad deck, but actually isn't all that bad. You can definitely do some pretty cool things, and it kind of like modernizes it a little. So, uh, without further ado, let's just get right into it. First off, I'm running three Digital Bug Registrator, or you use as the XYZ material for your XYZ summon, except for the XYZ summon of an insect monster. It has a really cool effect to, is that when you normal summon a level 3 insect monster, you can special summon this card from your hand, then you can make both this card in that level 5 or 7. And if this card is special summoned from the hand, you can change the battle position of one insect monster you control. And an XYZ monster summoned with this card gains this effect. This card gains 1000 attack and defense. So essentially, if you summon a level 3 insect, it's a free summon, more or less. And that's kind of like more or less what I'm using it for, because I kind of went away from like a full digital bug XYZ kind of build. I also run 3 digital bug web soldier. Web soldier can change itself from attack position to defense position, and if you do, you special summon one level 3 insect monster from your hand. And if it is XYZ summoned, the what is the XYZ monster that is XYZ summoned using this card's material gains this effect. All face of monster opponent controls attack becomes zero and changes them to defense position, which also helps with the digital bug scare data. I also run three digital bug cocoon dancer. Cocoon dancer is a little bit like web soldier, but instead of from the hand, it's from the grave. And this, if this card attacks in uh, the monster that it's used as material for, gains this effect. If it attacks the defense position monster, your opponent cannot activate effects until the end of the damage step. So no So when this card attacks, no honest, no mirror force, nothing like that. Also run three battle walls, Twimbo the Attacker. During your main phase, you can spell some of this card from your hand. Well although it does lock you into insects for the rest of the turn, which this is really the only card that really locks you into insects outside of the B Trooper link too. Also run three scale bomber. Scale bomber like uh, Twin Boy the Attacker is a free summon. If an insect monster is normal special summon to your field, you special summon this card from your hand. When a monster opponent controls, activates its effect, quick effect, you contribute one insect monster, destroy it. So it's kinda like a ghost spell. And I also run three Galaxy Worm. When uh, Galaxy Worm is normal summon, you don't control any other monsters, you can summon another Galaxy Worm from your deck. So literally it's just a bunch of level three insects that can spell summon themselves out or special summon another insect from the grave. Or not from the grave, from the hand. Now since the uh, main deck of this, of the digital bugs is kind of kind of size, I took uh, some cards out. I took uh, the Centipit out as well as the LED bug because fortunately those two cards, they have to have an outside effect to change them to defense position to activate their effects. But you can do that with the, uh, the Registrator doesn't really come up to options and it can just end up being a dead card. And in a deck like this you definitely do not need that. So I do run some hand traps in the form of three DD Crow, three Droll and Lopperg, two Ash, three Nibiru, and three Effect Failure. I run a bunch of hand traps in this deck. We went on to the spells. I run the two Pot of Desires, considering I run pretty much all the the insects at three minus the Galaxy Worm. The chances of it uh, not really, of it backfiring is very small. Also run the one droplet and the one called by the grave because you definitely don't want to get hand trapped. Another option you could put into this deck is cross out since you run so many hand traps it could just nicely slide in if that is an option as well. Moving on to the traps, I run three Imperm, now just another hand trap, as well as two Bug Emergency. This card's too good not to uh, run. Since you can target two level 3 insect monsters in your graveyard, special summon them, but their effects are negated. So essentially, let's say you got Skull Bomber and Twin Bow and Grave, special summon the two of them, boom, instant rank 3. So for the extra deck, I run the one, Scaredator. Scaredator, unfortunately, requires three or two or more level 3 light insect type monsters, so you can't really use the, uh, the Battle Wasp or Bee Trooper. Level 3 monsters. Has a cool effect once returned during a player's turn. 
You detach two materials from this card, then target one monster your opponent controls. Or change the spell position, and if you do, has its effects negated at the end of the turn. It's kind of like a negation in, in a way. Also on the one Corbage and the one Rhinosbus. The effects don't, I wouldn't really say matter too much because you aren't really like, going to go into them a whole lot. They're just there as an option to make a pretty uh, pretty big Zeus if you're able to make the opportunity. Next I run the one Downward Magician. You know, it just makes sense to run a bunch of level 3s or rank 3s. Like the uh, two Cicada King, or three number three, or not, two number three Cicada King. If the battle position of this card is changed, you can spell someone in Psych Monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position. And when also on the field activates its effects, you detach one material from this card, then target that monster, negate its effects, then make one in Psych Monster either gain 500 attack in defense or change its battle position. So your parents always going to change its battle position. And an even cooler thing is if you have a Scale Bomber as material. Scale Bomber also has a quick effect Ghost Ogre effect. So you can use the Cicada King Gate, special summon the uh, the Scale Bomber for another disruption. I also run the one Utopic Future, as well as the Utopic Draco Future. And I run three Divine Arsenal Double A Zeus. I run three because most often, I've noticed in most of my matches, is that I end up using all three of them. Because I run so many hand traps, more or less I go into rank three, use the hand traps to kind of control my opponent, and then just uh, Zeus away. Also run the one, B Trooper Armhorn, Double Stone for in Insects. The one, Insector Pico Falana, Little Bit Recursion, and a Nightmare Phoenix. That's going to be all for my digital bugs. Let me know what you think. I think digital bugs is pretty cool. Let me know the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye.